We're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference 2014 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mohamed Zidat, who is one of the winners of the Arabic Digital Content Competition, which was launched in October 2010 and seeks to foster innovative ideas amongst the next generation of social entrepreneurs working to promote Arabic digital content. Mohamed, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you. You created a mobile application which is called Rahal, uh, which I believe provides travel information. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about it. Yes, of course. Rahal is the Arabic word for uh, traveller. Uh, mainly Rahal provides uh, the travellers and tourists uh, information about city they are visiting. Uh, based on uh, weather in that uh, country, it will provide you with uh, advices what to wear, where to go, what restaurants to visit, what places uh, to see where to go. Uh, I had this issue first when I came to Dubai. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know where to get my clothes to which dry clean. I didn't know where to exchange my money. So I uh, came with this idea mainly first about what to wear. Because as you know, mainly in Gulf, it's very, uh, the weather here is, uh, changes a lot. In the day it is very hot, in the day it's very cold. So that's what uh, made me make this application. Great, and now you uh, won uh, 3,000 US dollars to help you start up the project. Uh, what are you going to do with the money? Yes, uh, now we had uh, finished our prototype of Rahal for Android application, for Android store. Uh, so we are going to finish this uh, application for the uh, Google Play. Uh, my next move will be on uh, iOS, uh, on, the, on the App Store for uh, Apple products. In the future, we hope to make it a whole digital platform on web and maybe create a social network for tourists and travelers. Arabic content, uh, according to recent figures, accounts for only 3% of all content on the internet. Why do you think that is? And, and what, in your opinion, is the solution to change the status quo? Well, mainly it is, uh, let's go back for the lack of uh, use of uh, technology in the Arab, in the Arab world. Uh, for example, me in Palestine, we have no 3G. So it's a problem for us to, uh, for internet access. Uh, also, there is, uh, there is misuse of technology in the Arab world. Uh, I think uh, what to do to fix this uh, situation is by uh, increasing the initiatives for uh, spreading the technology through schools, uh, university students, and uh, everyone to use technology in every life aspect. You're young, you're a digital native. Can you describe to us what ICTs mean to young people like you, especially in the Arab region? Well, for me, it is everything. It is now my life, it is now my job for ICT. And uh, I believe it's it easy life. It's making life uh, more easy. So it will help us uh, facilitate our uh, goals and achievements. Mohammed, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. And thank you for watching.